Okay, in this video we're now going to take the embed code, the HTML embed code, which is this, okay, that we've already copied, but I'm just going to do it again. So copy, or you can do Control and C for copy on your keyboard. And now what we're going to do is go back to our squeeze page. So I've got our squeeze page open in two places here. I've got the actual web page open here, which is where we left it. Okay, so we've done the headlines, we've done a video, and now we've got this piece to finish off here, which is the sign-up box. Okay, and here is the same page, but the WordPress view. So I've got two, three tabs open. I've got the web form generator from Aweber. I've got the live page open, and I've got the behind the scenes squeeze page. So we scroll down here, and remember, because we're in squeeze, we want to be in the squeeze page options. We're scrolling down here and we're looking for the opt-in squeeze form squeeze. Okay, so opt-in squeeze form we want. This is what we're going for. Click on this and it opens up. We've got four boxes here. Okay, you only need to worry about these first two or be concerned about these first two. Ignore the last two. Okay, so the first one, customization. What do these mean? Well, okay, well, let's click on them. Let's just play, shall we? opt-in box arrow options okay hand-drawn arrows blue okay let's do a headline as well let's put in a headline this is Jamie typing a headline there's a color there's a font okay I'm not going to touch that opt-in box text options let's click on that one here are the text options that you want to put in. And spam notice text option. I really don't like spam. Full stop. I'm putting these in as an example for you to show you where this is going to go. Okay, so in the customization, in the opt-in squeeze form options, just play with them, type in anything you want in those, scroll up and click update. Now it's updated, what we do is we go back and refresh our live page because I want to show you what's just appeared on the live page. Now see here, this is Jamie typing a headline, here are the text options you want to put in and here's my I really don't like spam. So that's where those text options appear. Okay, this template has this red arrow built in. So whilst I did choose blue hand-drawn arrows that would normally appear here, the headlight, the template that we've picked has this red arrow. So if you want to change the red arrow, you go and pick a different template. But for now, that can stay there. But I just wanted to show you where that changed. So this starts changing this box here. So let's go back to the behind the scenes. Okay, into here. Let's scroll down again. Squeeze page options again. We're going back to the opt-in squeeze page form here. That's the settings that we've just done. And you change them to be right for you. Okay, for the right headline of you attracting people to sign up for you. The text options again to flow from the headline. So you might say, get my free report in here. And then here says, all you need to do to get the report is to put your name into the box below and click get now. Whatever the words are that suit the box. Okay. Now that's customization. Remember you don't need to worry about form or dual form, custom form or dual form. Let's now go to autoresponder code. This is where it says copy your form code from your autoresponder provider and paste it into the box below. Ensure you're using the non-JavaScript code and paste all the HTML code into here. So this box here, I've just highlighted, I've just put my cursor in and it's just gone blue. This is where we want to go back here. This whole code, all of this, copy all of it and then come here and then we right click here and I do paste. Okay. And now all of that code, I'm just scrolling up here, but all of that code is now in this box. If you've done the same and it looks like it's full of code, the next thing I want you to do is press tab on your keyboard. Press the tab on your keyboard. And what you'll see is that it automatically puts the word name in here and puts email in here. 
So it's clever enough to go through the code in here and fill this out for you. Okay? The box text here is what actually appears in the box. You can leave that blank and leave this blank as well. Okay, you don't need to touch anything else as long as you've moved from here and pressed tab and these have appeared, then it's worked. This should appear all automatically, which is great, and it's worked. The hidden fields have appeared as well, so you don't need to do anything else. Okay, this is all the code that's been taken from what you pasted in before. And now the only thing left you have to do here is click this button, select image or upload new. So click the button and now you get to choose what your button looks like the actual sign up now button so here's all the buttons orange red yellow okay i actually prefer either orange or yellow so do you want them to click continue is it get early access get access now what are the words the best suit what you're trying to offer them show me the video send me the video sign up. what is it so you pick whichever button is the right words for you. And you can change this later. You can come back here and change this at any time. So for now, just pick one. Okay. I'm going to click next step. So I'm going to click this button here on the next step. And then I'm going to scroll down. Okay. I'm scrolling down, by the way, that I have a, one of those rollers on my mouse. So I'm rolling my mouse up and down. And you can use your fingers on your mouse. You could use your fingers on your trackpad if you've got a trackpad. Or you can just click the bar here and move it up and down like this. Okay. So I want to come down to the bottom and click use selected image. And it puts it in for me. And now all I do is go up here and clip, click update. And now our page is updated. And now I'm going to flick to the live page. I'm going to refresh the live page. Now let's see what this looks like. Okay. So now we've got our button that we chose. Now the fields are in here. And now you actually have a completed squeeze page. Congratulations. Next step from here is to actually test it. So what you're going to want to do is put your name in, put your email address in and click next step to test that it all works.